Hey YouTube, this is Pat from Lane Country Homestead, and I have another project I'm looking at here. Uh, I have a case backhoe here. It's got a, a little Cummings engine in it, and I noticed the other day when I was bringing some horse manure home for the house that uh, I had some diesel leaking out of the engine so I got to investigating and it shows that I have um, a leaking injector well not that the injectors not leaking but the uh, the hose assembly or the linkage that feeds the diesel to the injector has a leak so I got to take that apart and see what it's, what it's going to take to get that leak stopped. Aha, that's the one right there. I can just delicately balance this camera to where you can see it. I went ahead and loosened that up. Right there it is. So I got to remove that from the other side. And so then I can come in there and inspect that. That might be split the uh, flange or uh, that flare fitting right there might be might be split. So on this side, I have to take apart I gotta loosen that connection there. And it's going to be the top line that runs down to the pump assembly, which is that monstrosity. Of so you got four cylinders, four injectors, and I have to pull that off to inspect it to see what's wrong with it. So let's get started. And it's leaking. Um, I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and see if there's any pits or any splits in the line or see what the top of the injector looks like. It might just need to be cleaned up and put back together. Ha ha. <laughs> I doubt that, but uh, we'll go ahead and give it an inspection anyway. Well, upon the inspection of the feed tube assembly, it looks uh, a little dirty and I'm going to see if I can't polish that up and polish up the inside of the injector and see if I can't retighten this. These are pretty robust, so I might be able to polish that. Um, not with an aggressive uh, wheels or anything, but with a, a little finer, um, it looks like there might be a little bit of pitting in there, so I might have to polish it up with a little bit of emery cloth or something. But uh, I don't have anything to lose if it's leaking. It's got to be replaced or fixed. So I'm going to give this a shot and see if I can get it to work. I think the key to doing these is not to sand a flat spot on here and there's a lot of you machinists out there that probably say ah, don't do that don't do that no don't do that but this is what I have and I'm hoping if I'm really careful I can get a nice uh, clean finish on there because it looks like it's a little bit corroded I don't know if you can see that close but Looks like it's just a little bit corroded, 
And if I could just knock the tops, uh, just knock the roughs off, rough off of that, I might be able to make it, make that seal again. So I'm just barely, barely touching that. I tried just, just barely tightening this. Um, just, I tried to tighten this fitting right here down just a little bit and it was just it was just a little tiny bit loose and so what I'm thinking is that moisture might have got in there and over time um, just built up you know whatever that is on there uh, it's right next to the the manifold so it probably get a little bit warm and cold warm cold warm dry wet dry wet maybe this got uh, a little bit of corrosion on it just due to decay oxidation and such so I'm gonna focus on this drip it'll probably spray now but uh, I figured there's probably I couldn't lose anything by giving this a shot didn't cost me anything and I knew if I had to I'm gonna have to buy a part regardless um, but if I can get this to miraculously work I won't have to won't have to buy this piece but we're gonna give it a shot connection on that uh, feed line coming into that number two cylinder the little back over here and so uh, we'll go ahead and button this thing back up and get ready for next time thanks for watching